welcome back. And today, you can help me. I need an engineering solution to a mystery. So, as you know, I've been learning to use the lathe, learning to cut external threads. And it's a really fun thing to do, but I have a problem. <laughs> And I wonder if you as engineers or lace people can help. And here's the issue. This is an eight mil piece of bar stock that I want to turn into a thread. Excuse the bad drawing. So that's eight millimeters. So I was told that M6 is six mil. M8 is 8, M10, 10, etc. So, if I want to cut an M8 thread, here is a piece of 8mm bar stock. So, this is what engineers told me. This is the top bottom of a piece of stock, right? And they said I should use. Eight millimeter outside diameter to turn an M8 bolt, but it doesn't work. This is what they kind of explained is that when I cut it, external cutting on the lathe, I expected it to be like this. So these tops are still eight millimeter. But in fact, what happens is when I cut the thread, it cuts down and extrudes, cuts down and extrudes. So when you cut a thread, it extrudes, plastically squeezes the metal higher than the original outside diameter of your bar stock. Okay, the threading tool cuts a valley and extrudes a peak. So now you see the peaks of the thread is bigger than eight millimeters, so bigger than M8. And this is the mystery. Hope you can see this dial caliper. If I measure a commercial M8 bolt, I hope you can clearly see that it's less than eight millimeters. In fact, it's about 7.7 .7 or 7.8 millimeters. So here's my bar stock, and you can clearly see that this starts off, it's nice rolled steel, bar stock, its OD or outside diameter is clearly 8 mil. So let's go and cut a thread on it. Here's my tap and after applying great force this is what happened to it. And this is a good sharp die but there's no way you can cut an M8 die thread using eight millimeter, even chamfered stock. So should you start with an outside diameter of your bar stock that compensates for the extrusion of the peaks of the thread? So this is my experiment. I reduced the outside diameter of a piece of M8 stock to about 6.6 .6 millimeters cut threads and it turned out that I made an OD the peaks of the threads are about 7.1 mil well an M8 nut fits on nicely it will clamp down but if you notice it's a rattle fit it's definitely wobbly well that's no good what is it that I don't understand? One suggestion is I buy this, the Zeus book. 
precision data charts and reference tables for drawing office, tool room and workshop. Metric edition. But does it contain the answer to my question? No, it's not in the book. So if you know the answer to Simon's nut problem, please let me know because I really need to get to the bottom of it. Is there a measurement to actually resize the OD of a piece of bar stock before you thread cut it, external thread cut it on the lathe, that will then work out to be perfect? What we're looking for with a commercial nut and bolt is MA is 7.7 .7 millimeters, not 8, 7.7. .7. But is this data published or am I just getting the whole principle wrong? Because when I asked engineers, they all said, no, no, M8 is 8 mil. I went, but it's not. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below if you work for Starrett Tools, you're an engineer or you make nuts and bolts. Tell me what I'm doing wrong and tell me what the magic figure is and where is it published for lathe work for cutting external threads because it's a mystery. The truth must be out there somewhere.